Hi, Liam Ward here at LearnTheHarmonica.com. It's Irish Week and we're playing Whiskey in the Jar. I want to dedicate today's lesson to the mandolin player Mike Auckland. Mike and I played some Irish music together when I first moved to Swansea. He was really into Irish music and helped me tab out a lot of these tunes. I looked him up when I wanted to do this YouTube lesson and unfortunately I found out that he died quite soon after I last spoke to him a few years ago. This one's for Mike who is a passionate musician and really into the Irish tradition. If you enjoyed today's lesson, please remember to click like, share with your friends and subscribe for free harmonica lessons every single week. So we're looking at Whiskey in the Jar, which is originally based on a folk tune and apparently taken from actually a Scottish folk tune, but it was made into its current form, talking about whiskey and, and the whole story of the highwayman, by the Dubliners. We're using a C harmonica today and this lesson is suitable for all levels because there's no bends or anything difficult in this. We're just going to try and play the single note of the melody. We've got the tab on the screen and we're going to go through it line by line. So the first line goes something like this. As I was going over. So we've just got six blow four times and then we have six draw six blow five blow <laughs> so second line the far famed Kerry Mountains we've got six blow six draw twice sorry three times and then seven draw Six draw, five blow. And then line three, I met with Captain Farrell. So we've got six blow, six draw, three times again, and then seven draw, seven blow, seven blow. Okay. And then, and his money he was counting, Seven draw, six draw, six blow twice, seven blow, seven draw, six draw, five blow. Okay, so I've given you four lines quite quickly there. I'm going to play those four lines together so you can hear how they sound. I'll play it quite nice and slow. Okay, cool. So that's kind of half of a verse, if you like. We've got the second half of the verse to come, and then we've got the chorus. So the next line we've got, I first produced my pistol. Now that's the same as, as I was going over. So we've got a kind of repetition there. And then, and then produce my rapier is the same as the second line of the verse. So we've got In terms of keeping things fresh, you might change the rhythm slightly. So you might play it very straight the first time. And then the second time, kind of swing it a little bit. I think when the Dubliners sing it, they've got that swing in, in the uh, rhythm. Okay, so the next line said stand and deliver is the same as the third line, I believe. So we've got six blow, six draw, uh, well, we've got six draw twice, and then seven draw, seven blow, seven blow. So the only real difference is instead of, uh, I met with Captain Farrell, we've got said stand and deliver. So stand takes the place of where we had two six draws in the third line of the song. So, the only difference is you might you might still just play two six draws there, but you could just hold one six draw. Da, 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 da. But that's a minor point. The bit we really need to look at is the next line because that's the last line of the verse and it is different.
Okay, so how's that different? Well, the last note is different, and that's because we're leading into the chorus. So it's actually the same as and his money he was counting, except for that last note. So we've got seven draw, six draw, six blow twice, and then we have seven blow, seven draw, six draw, six blow. So we're finishing with a six blow instead of a five blow. So what that gives us as a full verse is if I go from the top right, uh, so from as I was going over to for I am a bold deceiver, you'd have this. And it actually runs straight into the chorus at that point. So it doesn't feel like an ending. So if we go from the last line of the verse into the chorus, we get... And now the first line of the chorus, which I've never understood what it means, or even if I've written it outright, I'm sure someone uh, might be able to tell me in the comments, I don't know. But we've got... Musha ring dumma do dumma da, is how I've got it written out. So... So we just got five blow, four blow, and then four draw, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times. Okay, so. Now you've got the choice. I think I'm gonna go da, 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 da. Rather than doing separate notes, or separate breaths, sorry. <laughs> which fills your lungs far too much. I'm just going da 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 and that gives us the uh, percussive sound and actually it works well for this because you would be singing musha ring da ma do da ma da 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 you know you got that kind of da sound. So from the last verse into that it's kind of straight on or last line of the verse sorry into that. So just straight on from that uh, into the chorus. And then we have, Whack for the daddy-o, Whack for the daddy-o, There's whiskey in the jar. So the first Whack for the daddy-o, we've got five blow, five blow again, and then four draw, five blow, five draw, six blow. And then, six draw twice, six blow, six draw, seven draw, seven blow. And then, six draw, six blow, five blow, four draw, five blow, four blow to finish. And that's actually our last line. I want to play that chorus for you in full. So I'm going to go from musha ring dumma doo dumma da. I love saying that. Um, nice and slow. Okay, so that takes us to the end of this tune. I hope you've enjoyed looking at this with me today. If you have, please click like, share this with your friends, and also subscribe for free harmonica lessons every single week. I will be back with another harmonica lesson very soon, and I take requests, so you can put your comments beneath the video. You can also email contact at learntheharmonica.com, and also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. It'd be great to be connected on those as well. I'm going to be back with another lesson soon. Until then, enjoy your practice and I'll see you soon. Cheers.